Good evening. The news summary for this Thursday, 17th October. Seychelles and the European Union have had an open and frank dialogue. This came out of the first partnership dialogue since the signing of the Samoa Agreement last year. The dialogue took place at the Eden Blue Hotel today. Nine ambassadors from European countries that have diplomatic relations with the Seychelles represented the European Union. There were also three representatives of the EU now for Operation Atalanta and two representatives of the European investment bank on the social side amongst uh, the representatives were eight ministers who took part in the discussions on topics that fell under their respective portfolios co-hosting the dialogue you european uh, Ambassador to Seychelles, Oscar Benedict, highlighted areas, areas that the EU is contributing to, such as climate change. This brings me to the crucial issue of the fight against man-made climate change. At EU level, we have embarked on an ambitious trajectory to become the first climate-neutral continent by 2050. This is not just words. This is a binding commitment under the EU climate law for which we are already implementing important measures. But we also embrace our role in combating climate change worldwide. The EU and its member states remains the biggest international provider of climate action finance. In 2022, for example, the EU and its member states contributed 28.5 billion euros from public sources and mobilized an additional amount of 12 billion for private finance in supporting developing countries to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions and adapt the impacts of climate change. Inner islands have a unique challenge when it comes to having local workforce with the right expertise. These challenges were discussed during a meeting between the Department of Employment and different organizations on Pale and Latigue. The department is coming up with a new five-year human resources national plan to support current and emerging economic sectors of Seychelles and to increase the employability of Seychellois. We cannot give the requested salary by certain staff members, especially local staff. Maybe Raffles, maybe Lemuria, maybe Waldorf can offer two times of what I'm offering. So you can have the position available, but that person when coming for an interview, I said, look, my salary expectation is 20,000 rupees and I've only budgeted 12,000. What will I do if I really need that person? I push it. I said, but I'll, I'll take that person and I'll, you know, instead of having 10 person in the kitchen, I'll have eight. The Disaster Risk Management Division, DRMD, has held a two-day workshop on how to take pre pre Protective measures where chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear hazards may be present. The European helped uh, to host the uh, European Union, excuse me, helped to host the event as it is a part of the Union's global strategy to counteract and mitigate risks and enhance capabilities to deal with those events, whether they are natural or deliberate. The Director General of DRMD will and it says where the, uh, those issues are concerned, the country needs to be proactive than reactive. And as uh, the Disaster Risk Management Division, we're here to listen to the various debates, the discussions that goes on, and uh, find ways and means uh, on how to move forward as the lead coordinator in disaster risk reduction and emergency response. Even this year, we've had uh, issues with uh, the gas issue. Everybody knows about it. We have serious gaps. And uh, thanks to uh, the CBI, EU, CBRN, uh, we are being assisted in creating this national team. And ultimately, we'll be assisted with training and the supply of equipment. The police have suspended the search operation for two men who've been missing, uh, reported in the sea of Ensoyal since early October. 33-year-old Dario Sanguignon and 27-year-old Rico Josias uh, had 
that uh, have uh, not been seen since they went out fishing in their boat Saturn since the 5th of this month. Police say the search operation by the Coast Guard and the Seychelles Air Force lasted 10 days and all efforts uh, to find them were in vain. The authorities remain, however, on alert and are calling on the public to provide any information connected with the case that they may have. The new Seychelles Hospital Fund Committee has organized a sunset cruise to raise funds for the construction of a new hospital. The committee has collected a total of 120,000 rupees from the event. So far, the committee itself has collected around 5 million rupees from other activities and donations. Marie-France McGregor has resigned as chairman. As chairperson of the committee, she has been replaced by Lederick Shetty and Teresa Dugley becomes vice chairperson. The committee says it, ex it intends to organize more activities in the future to collect more funds. That's the end of this new summary. Join me at it for the news bulletin in Creole. Until then, have a pleasant evening.